Hello everybody. As we put this together, I realized uh, we had a lot of pictures and a little bit of video, including some video from our uh, security camera. And we want to share that with you before the actual intro and showing you around the finished product, or at least the finished product up till now. Thanks a lot for joining, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning everybody, uh, Todd here with Mark with Legacy Acres. Uh, we're just going to show you around the pole barn today. Uh, we've got 40 by 60 pole barn and uh, uh, it's pretty basic at this point, but show you where we are and give you ideas of where we plan on going. So as I mentioned, we're at 40 by 60. We've got uh, 16 foot walls. The reason for that is I plan on putting in a mezzanine. Uh, inside half of this we've got 12 foot doors on this right side as I'm looking at it uh, we've got a six inch flap that's where the tractor will be housed on the other side where I plan on having the mezzanine we've only got four inches uh, I don't know if this is going to show up in here yeah here we go so on this side we've got four inches of concrete no heavy equipment's going to be stored over here um, like I said, we'll eventually have a mezzanine. We're just moving into it. So, uh, really basic. Uh, door, a few windows. And uh, I think in the future, probably, after we get the mezzanine, I'll put a second floor balcony off on that side. I uh, don't know how well the wife's going to feel about that, but uh, I don't see why we shouldn't. Uh, show you one thing that you should know if you're going to do this. Uh, We've got a dumpster here, and the reason we've got a dumpster is because the builders did not clean up their mess. And I guess I should have known that, but I didn't. So we've spent the weekend cleaning up the mess that they would have put in a dumpster if I would have had it here when they built. So lesson learned, if you're going to do this, ask your builder if you should have a dumpster here for them to do that. We've got... A porch area over here and uh, as I'm starting to say we've got a porch area over here it wraps around a uh, nice little sitting area if we get this all cleared up uh, that's our project for today is get this cleared up uh, one of the things I'll also show you that is a lesson learned is when you get your pad in make sure that you've got somebody that you can trust to do it because our pad was not made large enough and while there should be concrete sticking out from here i don't know if you can see that in the shadow i'll get in the shadow so you can see it better um this area doesn't have any gravel and it should be like the back that i'm about to show you so it should have a nice pad so since they didn't make it big enough, I've got this area that I'm going to have to fill in with rock. Uh, not a big deal. We've got our new Kubota L2502. Uh, it should make pretty easy work of that. Uh, right now, just storing some of the equipment back behind the pole barn. 
uh, got some old stuff but anyway just want to give you a show of where we are today I have no power I have no water I plan on having both so next year uh, finances permitting we're going to bury a line from the street we've got a, a takeoff right at the street we're going to bury that bring that in so we can have at least some basics I mean right now even for our doors you know we're pulling on ropes to open and close our doors so it makes things a little bit fun but that's okay uh not a big deal so that's where we stand today and we'll keep you updated as things go forward hey thanks for joining us uh if you like this kind of content we plan on building up this property over the next three to five years and would love you to join us hit that subscribe button